Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nathan Skandiker and today we're going to update Windows 10 to the new build 14926, I believe. So let's get started. Alright guys, so to get started we're going to open up the settings app by pressing Windows and I and we're going to first check what build we're on. So I'm going to go to about and if, I'm, if I zoom in here, look, let's check this out guys. So if I uh, zoom in here and we're at Windows 10 OS build right there OS build 14915.1000 so let's get out of there and then let's go to our Windows update make sure on the correct insider build yep and insider ring fast ring and let's update to the latest build let's see guys this is exciting we're checking for updates yep so it's checking for updates. So um, this update, will, okay, there we go. So there's two updates av available. That's one this is a virus definition update that'll just update the database for Windows Defender to get me to help keep me protected from the latest viruses. And the second update, this the first one is being installed really quickly. It's just a few megabytes, I believe. Um, but this the, here's the build updates next. So it's now pre preparing to install the definition updates but yeah so this is a new build that got released today it's 14926 as you can see on the screen um, it's, the, it's it's a new build and it has some new features in it so let's take a look while this downloads so there's a there's a so th there's some there's a new feature here uh, that's new to one of these redstone 2 builds is like the update histories are not grouped so here you could see other updates windows malicious software removal tool here quality updates there's a security update for Microsoft Silverlight and we'll go back and then there's the build update so we're gonna let's go, go and check what's new with Windows 10 as you can see we're at 5% so let's go to edge and let's open up some information regarding this update and once it's done inshallah we'll check out that we'll give a I'll give you a tour of the new features Alright guys, we're in. There's the Windows Insider block. Let's uh, zoom in here. Announcing Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 14926 for PCs and mobile. Now, let's see what's... Uh, there's a note here, by the way, guys. Uh, it does in, an important note about build expiration. Just, to have all, just as we have always done with pre-release versions of Windows, Insider builds have expiration dates. Starting tomorrow, September 15th, PCs running really old Insider Preview builds will start seeing build expiration notifications once to build expiration notifications once a day. Then on October 1st, these PCs will start rebooting every three hours, and on October 15th, these PCs will stop booting altogether. If your PC is running one of these old Insider Preview builds, please make sure to update your build to 14926 via settings, then update and security, then Windows update. And then bill 14926 is an updated expiration date of May 1st, 2017. If your PC is running Windows 10 Anniversary Update, bill 14393 in the slow and release preview rings today, this does not apply to you and you will not be notified of your build expiring. Now this is the about Windows dialog box, about Windows version 1607 OS bill 14926. There's a new expiration date for five, May 1st, 2017. If I go to my existing about page so winver this is the about page for build 14926 let's hide this here build 14926 uh, sorry this is uh, 14915 uh, this is my existing build uh, I, I updated to this build so if you're interested in seeing that you can see the other my previous video on this but yeah so Microsoft Windows build 14607 but 14915 you can see the evaluation copy expires 2016 2016 October 1st 759 p.m. so we'll start seeing not, uh, warning notifications starting tomorrow so there's that uh, now let's see what do we have improvements to Microsoft reward introducing Microsoft rewards this is not available in the US so I'm in Canada I mean this is not available anywhere except the US and maybe India I'm not sure but um, I'm in Canada so this does not apply to me so basically uh, as you use more Microsoft soft Microsoft products such as Microsoft Edge and Bing, you get points that you could use to re redeem I redeem goods, both physical and digital, in Microsoft stores. Uh, what's new in Bill 14926? Snooze in Microsoft Edge. We know you all love love when we get creative with you, 
So we have added an, added an experiment, sno experimental snooze action on the tab in Microsoft Edge, which provides you with a way to set Cortana reminders on the website you're viewing. People often keep tabs in their open browsers immediately indefinitely as a to-do list and do not close these ta those tabs until actions associated with the website is complete. This feature lets you, s lets you put a site into a Cortana reminder and show you a notification in Action Center allowing you to quickly open the site in Microsoft Edge when you're ready to get back to it. So basically sometimes we might you know keep tabs open. I do that sometimes and like we said oh I have to finish writing, uh, finish, uh, writing this response or writing this email. I'll leave Outlook on it open and I just you know have do other things that these tabs remain open so this basically lets you keep tabs open without actually using system resources through Cortana I believe I'll have to check if this is available in Canada we'll get to that in a bit updated Wi-Fi settings page in mobile well we'll be on the lookout for my video on uh, updating Windows 10 mobile and we'll talk about this in a bit uh, let's see improving PC upgrade experience so this basically says that if you up if you um, uninstall modern apps that are, that come built into Windows 10, oh, there's a text message. If you if you uh, install modern apps that come built into Windows 10, uh, and if you uninstall them, such as let's say Weather, I don't think you can uninstall Weather, but things that you can uninstall, such as Solitaire, will come back um, when you update to a new build. Also, if you use PowerShell to uninstall some of these apps, like Group Music and Mail. Uh, they will come back again once you new, uh, install a new build. So, but with this new build, this uh, Windows will recognize the apps you have uninstalled and it will actually not reinstall those. So, let's see, making a pin login easier. Now, this is basically lets you log into the PC with your num number pad, even whether or not you have numlock on or off. So, that's useful. Other improvements and fixes for PCs. So, these are improvements. The Adobe Adobe Reader crash has been fixed. The Settings app crashes have been fixed. Windows icon text render rendering has been fixed in Atom processors. The Clovertail generation, uh, scaling problems issues fixed. Um, blue screen when plugging in Kindle or other e-readers have been fixed. So that was a, that's a dis that was an issue discovered in the anniversary update. So they Microsoft fixed this in the anniversary update as well as this update as well. This build this build improved the pr improves the performance on websites that has large number of HTML elements containing text by improving child spell checker efficiency. This results in subst substantially improved performance on websites like TweetDeck. So this was a major complaint in the anniversary update. So we have we are, we have addressed we have addressed the largest cause of reliability issues in Microsoft Edge running on insider preview builds. So uh, so like on websites such as Outlook.com and YouTube, I've experienced this myself and neon.com out uh, Facebook these had real major slowdowns and edge would keep reloading the pages hope uh, Microsoft knows that this is fixed hopefully this is the case I'll check inshallah we fixed issues resulting in some certain links not displaying uh, the website okay N certain uh, when you pin a site to the start screen rather than showing the website's um, icon it showed I don't know uh, the edges default E icon so an I Wi-Fi icon where the full bars were connected I mean uh, in the Wi-Fi tray system tray right here it apparently showed um, full bars even though even if you are, are connected to a uh, Wi-Fi network with low, low signal so uh, issues preventing network okay so the Surface Pro 1 driver issues have been fixed finally inshallah alhamdulillah this is an issue we noticed that Wi-Fi stopped working in Surf Surface Pro 1 Um, let's see. So let's see. We have fixed an issue with File Explorer's open command. So when you open to File Explorer and you click, let's see, I don't know, uh, File Open Command Prompt, rather than opening it here, it opened on the um, the what do you call it? The default Windows System 32 folder. But again, you have to use the Open Command Prompt Command Window here, Context Menu. I didn't use the Context Menu. I used the File Menu, but you have to enable the context menu first, so I'm not going to do that, but just I'll take their word for it. So, the fixed issues potentially resulting in desktop taskbar no longer hiding. Um, but this is interesting. Note that if an app is asking for attention, that's but design the taskbar won't hide. So, that means are you saying that an app such as this Facebook Messenger has a notification? So, if it actually, um, 
asks for uh, the taskbar won't hide so if I hide this actually I think what they mean here is like when the app beco icon becomes orange because something immediate needs to be uh, taken care of you know it becomes orange I think it's talking about that that when one of these apps flashes orange light means immediate attention is necessary or just a notification that just happened I think that's when the taskbar won't hide the, that's what they mean I don't think they're talking about these badges so improvements and fixes in mobile we'll talk about that in when you're when we're doing our mobile build known issues for PCs while using narrator groove music this is funny if you navigate to the progress bar while using a song the song is playing and narrator will continuously speak the progress of the song <laughs> example the update of the current time of the progress bar every second the result is that you will be unable to listen to the song or hear any other control than you you navigate to so it's like saying hey narrator help help me navigate this uh, music app so it's like a song is playing. You're at one second, two second, three second, and four second. I get it, narrator. Shut up. Okay, that's hilarious. Okay, so that's funny. Oracle Virtual Box will not open. Will open. Optional components may not work. After updating to this build, Windows Calculator may not work. To get Calculator, just reinstall Calculator. I could have a button on my p on my keyboard that automatically opens Calculator. I could resize this like this, like that. There. So yeah, so I have a button that opens lots of calculators easily. We have like five calculators. Open one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so whoa, we da -da 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 -da. lots of calculators. There you go. I don't know. I'm having too much fun with this. Okay, so I'm gonna close all of this. Close all windows. So. Uh, no issues for mobile. We'll talk about in the thing. So there's some team updates. We're gonna, gonna talk about that right now. Let's zoom out of here and let's see what our progress are, progress progress is. Did the setting app just crash? Let's. Oh, we're good. So we're downloading updates. Forty-seven percent complete. We'll be back when we are in the next phase. Inshallah. Goodbye. All right, guys. It seems to be taking a long time. It's stuck at 83. Oh, oh! It went further. I mean, it went to 80 really quickly, and now it's uh, stuck at 83, 84. But I think it'll it sure pick up again. Um, yeah. So we're at 84 percent. When you get to the installing phase, preparing to install phase, inshallah, I'll, uh, get you updated again. Folks, we're at. We just reached 100 percent, and we finished downloading, and now we're at preparing to install updates. We're at 1 percent. So that's very interesting, guys. So we're, we're getting there. We're going to be done, inshallah. So 5%. We're going to go to 10% soon. And while you're at it, I was just editing the video that I was... Uh, this video right there. So this is this video, I believe. Uh, let me just check. Hello, and welcome to another video. Yes, this is it. So we're going to put this in here. This is, uh, this is the vi we're editing the video for this uh, thing, like the for Windows Update video. So let's put these clips, and then... Let's put this clip. Let's put this. Let's see where you're at. So we're at 23%. Let's see how far it could go. So let's next one is this. What's this? As you can see, we're at 5%. Nope, that's not that's not the thing I wanted. The build update. So we're gonna let's go go in. Yep. So I think this is the next next video that sh should. Actually, no. That's r never mind. That was the second clip. So you guys, it's kind of funny. You're watching me edit the video that you're actually in the video that I'm watching that you're watching on. So in the video that you're watching, I'm editing the video that you're watching. So it's very, it's like Inception, isn't it? So, so, uh, so this, this, this is the second video. You with Windows 10. As you could see, we're at five percent. Yep, you just watched this part, didn't you? And then this is the, this is the t where I was talking about the known we'll issues. I'll give you a tour of the new features. Alright guys, we're in. Yep, so this is the next part and the finally the one we just covered is I was talking about the eighty three percent thing, so I'm gonna put this right there. So there's that. Hmm. Yeah, 
so let's see we are here did the setting app just crash let's follow it inshallah goodbye all right guys it seems to be taking a long time it's stuck at 83 oh, <laughs> oh it went further I mean, yeah we went. talked about this right didn't we so yeah next part i'm going to be putting the clip that has this so let's see how far you're in right now we're at 24 percent not bad not bad we're at 26 percent um and let's put our next clip in uh, again sort of infection now here's interesting i you're not watching me edit a video in which i edit this video that you're watching but you watch me edit a video in in that has me editing the video that you're watching so it's like a whole loop so this is very cool weird isn't it so like here just reach 100 percent and we finished downloading and now we are at preparing to so there you go we're just editing the video right there <laughs> yep so, so it's so cool it's so weird right so we're at um th we're a total of 15 minutes a uh, 15 and a half minutes into the video i think uh it's an i'm d i'm deciding to do it informal long update video i, I plan to do on second video talking about the new features but yeah let's let's uh let's put some intro right so let's put some intro here let's see where you're at we're at 27 percent pull let's put some intro um let's go to sequences there's an intro i created right there let's see hello and welcome to another video Today we're going to update Windows 10 to the new build 14.9. Let's uh, put the title of the video here. So I'm gonna type a uh, title of the video. E updating to updating to Windows 10 RS2 build 14.9.2.6. All right. And I'm gonna type this. We are updating to Windows 10 Reds, Redstone 2 build 14.9.2.6 from build 14.9.1.5. I should think we might put uh, Insider Preview. Why not? Let's see. Insider Preview. Okay, so that's my title here. So there's that. Okay, so we have this inside our preview build. And my PC crashed again. So if I show you if I go to command prompt, it's not open. Well it does open, but Premiere Pro crashed apparently. My mouse crashed. That's a bummer. Well I guess I gotta wait. It's back to normal. I hate this is the freezing bug that I have every single time. This is so annoying. So 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 annoying. Microsoft, you better have fixed this problem by the next build. Otherwise I'll be like I would want to like go to your campus, put put my PC into the engineer's face and say, Look, fix this. So no actually I can't. But I wish I could. But yeah. So But yeah. So we have the title here, right there. Let's check that out. Kandekar, and today we're going to update Windows 10 to the new build, 14.9.2.6, I believe. Perfect. Well, let's do some more effects here. Let's do... Um, are we done with this update? Well, almost done, 32%. Not even almost, but I think we're getting closer. Like, it, we're inching towards forward. Let's see. And transitions, let's do dissolve, additive dissolve. And the thing crashed again. Great. I'm really, really, really furious at Microsoft for like uh, 
um, for ruining my PC with the anniversary update. It's like the most frustrating thing you could ever imagine. And I am very, very, very furious. I think the only reason I could record this is because uh, my graphics card uses its own hardware. It, the, it records the thing through hardware. Um, so rather, oh crap, crap, it's uh, frozen again. I think the only reason it could survive this is b that my recording itself can survive this is because um, my hard graphics card has it has its own separate har hardware layer that does the recording and encoding. If it was doing it through software in my PC, it would just destroy my recording. And I'm so thankful to Allah that um, this is actually possible because I would not want my recording to get destroyed because of the stupid freeze freezing bug. So. I'm gonna let's see if I could do descending. Let's do this sound effect here. So hopefully let's check out the intro. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nathan Skandiger and today we're going to update Windows 10 to the new build. Perfect. Okay, good. Maybe we should just up have the title a little first. Let's check that out again. And it froze. Yeah, I want you to I want you to see how terrible Microsoft is at not even acknowledging this bug for months. I had this since January or February of 2016. And Microsoft, they say no known issues after I deliberate multiple times let them know of the issues. So hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nathan Skandiker and today we're going to update Let's move this thing here. And welcome to another video. My name is Nathan Skandiker, and today we're going to update Windows 10. Perfect. All right, let's see. So we have that. And yeah, so let's see how far we're in. We're almost at 90%, guys. So this is it, guys. It's time to restart, and you're going to see my... I'm going to have to use my cell phone now to record the rest of the process. So, sayonara. All right, guys. Windows key slash I to open up settings app. As you can see, uh, look at the animation again. Ooh, awesome. I don't know, I'm having fun time with this animation. Okay, update status. A restart is required to finish installing the following updates. Windows 10 inside preview 14.296. Restart now. Your device is scheduled to restart at the active hour, but I don't care. I'm restarting it now, guys. I do what I want. No, just kidding. I do not do what I want. Restarting, so we should see a sign that says configuring update for Windows 10. When you see that, I'll let you know. As you can see, guys, we're in the next phase configuring updates for Windows 10. 16% complete. Do not turn off your computer. We're at 17% complete. Will you get to 18 before I turn this video off? I'll count to 10 before I get 18. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. You failed me, computer. You failed me. You one chance. Oh, never mind. My computer just trolled me. It went straight to 20% and started jumping 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And now it's 28. It literally skipped 18. It didn't want me to get to 18. So, ah, uh, you're, I know you're being clever. I said you failed me. You said, you know what? I won't even get to 18. I'll just skip 18. Okay. Anyway, configuring updates for Windows 10. 28% complete. There's my mouse. Follow my mouse to this. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. 30%. Hmm. Guys, it's restarted my PC. You could see the beautiful Acer logo and the Windows 10 spinny thingy. And oh, a command prompt Windows flash, flash for a second. And then we're at the actual install phase. Working on updates. 0% complete. Don't take a turn on your PC off. 
this may take a while. This is the actual installing phase. This is going to actually install the OS, migrate, uh, migrate the data off to windows.old, install the OS, the new windows, and uh, as an upgrade, and it's going to migrate the data back, and it's going to keep the old OS files in a windows.old folder. So this is like upgrading from Windows 7 or 8 to Windows 10, we're just updating to a new build. We're at 4%. So this will restart two more times. So after it gets to thir around 30%, it'll restart. Inshallah, and then at 60% it'll restart, and at some 70 to 60, 61 through 100, it should finish and automatically take me to the lock screen. It shouldn't restart more than two times, but we'll see. Let's see how the mobile's doing, guys. If you're, if you're watching this on the PC, watching the PC build, make sure to watch the mobile build upgrade. Mmm, Kit Kat. Mmm, a perfect snack for a build upgrade. Ooh, we're at 18%, and we're at. Oh, the mobile just turned off, but we're at something. Turned out 0 0.14926. We're at 7% of preferential install updates. PC is at 20%. And now it's 20, 21%. I stand corrected. Up to 30% and has restarted the PC. So we should go beyond 30 now to our second phase. Nope, it's still a black screen, still updating. We're at 30, we're at 30 exactly, so yeah, as I said. And next recharge at 60, so we'll get there when you get there. Oh, 32. We're, thir uh, we're like 28 away from our next restart. All right, guys, we are in now. We're at uh, the build update has finished. There was no more restart, so I'm going to click my pins. I just tested the new feature. My num lock is, was off. As you can see, the num lock was actually. You can't turn num lock off, or even if it's off, you could actually. Let's type in. Let's type have num lock off, and let's see if I could still type in. No, I can't. So I think it just automatically turns num lock off when you do p num lock to be on. That's the new feature. So like, well, even if you have num lock off, when you click the pin, it turns it on by default, but automatically. So I'm gonna have to type my pin. Oh, that's my password. That's fine. Strange. Let's do pin here. So let's turn the num lock off here. Let's type in. So I think yeah, I think what it does is just types in the turns the num num lock on, and now we are back in. So we have the new build. So I'll get back to the screen recorder right now. All right, guys, uh, we're back with Windows 10, the new build, uh, build 4926. So if you go to uh, System About. Uh, build, uh, let's see, OS build 14926.1000. So let's check out the expiry date.